Actually, old Madame Tussaud's place doesn't look that bad in this light. This is an early September evening with about the first taste of autumn in the air. And I love it. I'm just... I'm fine. I found Matsutake mushrooms already. I can't remember where, but it was really someplace strange. So somebody else had picked it and brought it into town. Um, there's Santrellas and the uh, mulch in Beacon Hill Park. Fried chicken mushrooms. Two big heads of them coming up uh, right next to the fountain. I'll take a picture and give you a tour of the place. Um, I don't know. I just could spit that I'm not up in Campbell River for the mushroom season. Oh, God. This town. I've had enough of it. I don't know. I lived here about 20-some years. Oh, in the late 70s and 80s and 90s. Holy shit. It was actually more like 25 years that I've lived here. Um, so I've been away for 10 years to the Gulf Islands. And that's where a uh, huge tale rests that I'm not going to bore you with in this particular video. Um, I don't know. The number of uploads are fewer, so I'm going to try to make them kind of, if not info dense, at least aesthetically taste food pleasing. The town is really being shown off to a very good advantage by this uh, particular season. These hanging baskets are a signature piece of the city. Oh, as is Clydeman Ivy. There's been I don't know how many ivy abatement campaigns uh, while I lived here these 25 years. And I was reminding someone uh, that the parkade that opens right there, one night shift I was working in a cougar was uh, trapped in the parkade. Holy mother of God, you know, I take my tr took my 3 a.m. Uh, coffee breaks and such at Fairfield Health Center, not a block and a half from here. My God. But, I don't know, I'm going to have to come to terms with living with wildlife in uh, Campbell River and somehow force myself to savor all the culinary delights that this wildlife promises. I'll tell you, salmon elk. My god, if I can ever get that Weatherby 300 back, I'll be able to take elk. And probably have to recruit a tribe of people to help me butcher and hang the thing. But anyway, it'll be happy times once it finally gets going. But today, I had the observation that, you know, it could well be until um, summer of next year before I can really get out of Victoria. So I'm reconciling to uh, dressing a lot more warmly. Hmm. Because the cost of shelter in this city is just not worth it. Yeah. It drives me crazy. And what I'm going to, if things go more to my liking, I'll be taking off to Campbell River to set up some kind of base camp there. Possibly in the middle of the monsoon season. Um, well, it'll be an adventure. I've met a fellow out in the park that says that the little neighborhood of Campbellton, which is an easy walk from Campbell River, has all the social services someone might want a food bank, shelter in extreme weather, uh, social services, a and um, I, I 
if I understand him right, there are three railway trestles there that are superb shelter that a, quite a community might exist there, you know, one that's certain to be a lot more wholesome than the one that's camping out on Pandora Street here. Um, well, I'm getting cotton mouth, yes. I've treated myself to, uh, probably two grams of, um, blend of an extreme indica bush. I can't recall it strain. Um, and it's, oh, the indica was, duh, I can't remember. Must have been good. Anyway, the other was the opposite, a sativa. Oh, well. Hey, good night, folks.